Hey everybody, it's Risley. We're playing Super Auto Pets. Let's give it a go. Me, oh my, my favorite pie. It is fish? Fish pie? Is that what I actually meant? Kind of coincidental that any of these things were related to pies. That was completely random. A mouse is decent. A fish? Oh my goodness. I just got the upside down uh, pants as a hat option. Literally like a game or two ago while I was playing in my gosh diddly darn free time. Bright siblings, backwards piggies, or adorable cakes. Adorable cakes could be a really cute booty, could be a really cute uh, dessert, which I like to stick in my mouth. To be fair, actually, I am not somebody who adores cakes, though. Cupcakes especially difficult, because I think icing is crazy too rich. Much too much for this gal right here. I'm the kind of person who takes the cupcake and immediately wipes the icing off on a napkin before eating it, and that just kind of makes me feel rude. So I feel like in most scenarios, I just be like, no thanks, I'm not really hungry. Now then, are we going to commit all of these otters and all of these mice to make a big fish? The fact that you're not a 2-3 makes it feel like maybe this is less useful than it could be. But also, does something have to be a 2-3 in order to be amazing? Can this fish not prosper being... Uh, oh, that was a bit of a waste, wasn't it? No, he's not leveled yet. Okay, we're cool. We're fine. Everything's fine. I would actually like to immediately sell you, little mouse man. However, I cannot, because then what would I do with my money? Literally nothing. An investment into nothingness. In my opinion, not a great investment. I know it's a shocking shocking concept, opinion, very opinionated I am about these things. Um, so is a 6-6 six, six fish going to make us like win anything? Good question. Um, my answer was going to be no. Um, but in the future, I just thought he'd be kind of cool, especially if he gets hot leveled. And today is the day for hot leveling. Sadly, we won't be able to do some hot leveling because I won't have enough money to buy the thing that it gives us. So we're going to hold on with a four squad. Okay, well, some decision making uh, skills were lacking, I would say, in the recent times. I'm sure a lot of people would say, what are all these things you're doing? And I would say, I just thought Big Fish sounded cool. And the enemy has like two horses and a sheep. Kind of cheaty. It just seems a little ridiculous for this early in the game, to be fair. A swan. Now we'll take the level, even if it's not turn five. It's like, whatever. Yes. Big fish. This is the turn where big fish does things. We could sell you. And we will. To make super big fish? No. At this point, we're actually going to do something with someone who matters, which I know the goose has like no stats, but I love her. Look at her. She's wearing her husband's pants. Honey, where are my pants? Lego movie. Classic. Classic. Everyone's seen it. And by that, I mean I'm actually not entirely sure if many people have seen the Lego movie, especially because I didn't even know there was a sequel until, like, recently. And I feel like it came out a long-ass time ago. I know they've made Lego movies, I think, of multiple things, but it was hilarious. And the Lego games are also hilarious, so... Kind of surprised I didn't know there was a sequel, because I think I would probably really like it. And at this point, I'm kind of the sort of person who, like, doesn't watch movies very much because I have troubles dictating a certain amount of time to things. Which is also why I like playing roguelikes, because you can be like, I'm gonna play a game, but I'm only gonna play it for, like, 20 minutes or something. Which, uh, admittedly, what that ends up being is me playing a 20-minute game on repeat for, like, two hours anyway. So at that point, you could have very easily have started, like, an actual plot game, made progress in, like, I don't know, the Link games, the Zelda games. <laughs> If that didn't give it away, I've never actually played one. I have played the beginning level of one. It was the Wii game, and the first level was a bunch of monkeys. And I never beat it because I wasn't really trying that hard. On the other hand, Kingdom Hearts was a hot jam. It is a very dear memory of mine as a child. The day before my brother like went off to college, he was taking our PlayStation, like, 2, I think, with him, and none of us had actually, at that point in time, completed the Kingdom Hearts game that we had, which was either, I think it was the second one or the third one. It was the second one, I believe, then. So, right before he was leaving for college, like, a few hours before, I was, like, hard rushing it, and we were all sitting on the couch and watching me, and, spoiler alert, uh, the final battle of the one I'm thinking about has, like, a billion different sections to it, including one where, like, the main evil guy just becomes a boat or something for, like, half of it. So it was a very fun memory because it's like, oh, we were all sibling bonding, even though I was the youngest. I felt like I was doing cool things. And by I was the youngest, I mean I wasn't the youngest. I'm actually the middle child. Middle child, hot vibes. Did you understand it? I actually don't really know what kind of things are associated with different age people, but I was the middle child, if that gives you any information. These are a lot of things that give stats. Should I actually save them, though, is a question. 
Sure, they're giving stats, but wouldn't like units that are good or like leveling units I already have be cool? That is a thick ass fox, my dude. What are you just doing? Clownfish plus fox? Was he even leveled? Ouch. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. What is this turkey doing? Okay. The enemy team beat us because they had hot spanking stats, but I feel like they were kind of misguided in terms of where they were going. At the very least, I didn't understand it. But to be fair, I'm not doing that great. A monkey! Now is the time for life. Okay, everyone sell. I and get out. Camel, you've done your duty, I guess. And by that I mean, I, you, I don't know. Have you done something, have you? Be honest with me, Camel. Have you done anything? How many times have you gotten killed on the first hit? Because I know it's a common it's a common thing to happen with many people. I won't judge you for it. I'll just be uh, disappointed. To be fair, I'm always disappointed. So it's not really strange and you shouldn't feel that bad about it. Especially because you've got your flamboyant little, like, eyelash, so that sassy camel, I'm sure, doesn't give a crap whether or not he's done anything. Whoa, we almost defeated that dude. <laughs> okay, two wins and no lives. Not amazing, but last episode, I also got zero wins on the first round, and then I got a nine win and, like, a seven win, so things can definitely ramp up. I don't like playing the bulldog, but I know he's decent. Despite the fact that I know he's decent, I still don't like doing it. Upside down scallywags, bloated planets, overpriced gems. Overpriced gems? Hashtag the diamond industry. People be saying don't buy diamonds because it's just like child and slave efforts happening in different countries to get a gem out of the ground that can easily be made literally word for word inside of a lab for in way cheaper than it's actually used to like sell it. I will say that if I ever thought, you know, like about like wedding rings or anything like that i always think that while i wouldn't get a diamond obviously because it's kind of stanky and they're so expensive i kind of like the idea of having some sort of natural stone like even obviously i understand the concept that lab grown gems are no different like biologically than a regular one i feel like it still feels nice to have something that came from the earth so i always thought it was kind of cool when people go to like etsy or, or things like that and they get like handmade ones that are like I want to say carved by wood, but wood is not a good choice for a ring because I think it would mold really quickly and you'd be out of a ring pretty quickly. Do I want to run a yak on turn three? He's not horrible. Is there lollipops? There's not lollipops. I think there was lollipops last time. I could have sworn I had, I had like a, a yak and a lollipop recently. We'll go for this and it wasn't worth it. Tragedy once again. So I always thought if I ever got like a special jewelry that I'm like, oh, I got to spend a decent amount of money on this just because it's like a special one or whatever. I'd probably get a natural stone, but like something more special and not nearly as expensive, but still pretty. It's always a bit of a dangle because uh, in terms of birthstones, uh, my birthstone is like the ugliest one in my opinion. So I can't do it based off that, but my eyes are blue. So blue has been, I've been dressed in most of my life. Kind of fun how you're born with a certain hair color and then like that's just like the color you get because i have blue eyes and blonde hair and therefore blue is like 80 percent of my wardrobe it was 80 percent of my wardrobe like most of my life conjoined and some stats don't hit the baby beetle thank you that's actually kind of who i wanted you to go to i refuse to run a panda if i ever run a panda call for help i'm being threatened Somebody is in my room with a gun to my head saying, run the panda, and I'm like, I can't run the panda. Look at him, he's too natural, they're gonna go extinct soon, and he's like, run the panda. And I'm like, you want me to contribute to the murder of the pandas? And he's like, yes. And I'm like, my god, you're a monster. Not because of the gun, but because of the panda situation. And he's like, yes, I understood what you were talking about. And I was like, thank you, I've, I'm glad somebody finally understands me. And he's like, do you want to talk about it? And I'm like, no, I don't want to talk about it. I'm peeing myself actively as we're talking right now. I'm so freaking afraid. And he's like, that's the first step to healing. Okay? That's the first step. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess we could do a buffalo. Did I get you on level? Buffalo is like the only thing I've been doing this weekly though. So I feel a little drank doing it just because it's like, okay, well, here's buffalo again, I guess. If it's all the weekly has to offer, I don't want to keep any of y'all. So, but I'm gonna because I gotta get those max statage. I don't know if we already bought three. It's possible that one of those purchases went unnecessary, in which case we could have rolled. And I wish I had a swan now. I had a swan yesterday, Buffalo. 
You're best friends with a swan. She likes to sit on your head and pick the bugs out of your creepy little eyeballs. But if you, you're, you're just a little late to the party because the swan is like dead. Literally, you missed the funeral. Tragedy, Buffalo. Hot tragedy. Everyone get out. Tick flea. I keep calling you a tick, but you are a flea. This guy is just better than other things. And I don't really need you at all because no one's doing that. I feel like the flea is a tier three. Maybe just because it's like a bug and most bugs kind of suck. My brain is like, suck unit. But I've seen some people carry the flea to the late game. Makes them both health. It's like, it's like a weak bat, I guess. It does it on faint. Does it do two maybe when it dies? I guess it actually may be equivalent to an actual, just straight up. We'll keep you for a second. You only need one more trigger. Yes, so we don't have to buy you guys. We could do this. That's true. And it would be more smart of me to run two sheeps instead of a sheep and a goose. However, the more smart version of me is on vacation right now. So we're going to ignore the proposition. My sheep! What the frickle? Just because you have a magic carp hat, you think you can just kill my backline sheep? It was there for the sake of being essentially kind of like a big bee. A bee sheep, a she bee, if one could say. I will say that uh, in the past, I was working on a 3D model, full with rigging, which I intended to animate because I am an animator, of a bee and sheep mixture. It literally, I finished the model and I fully colored it, and then I started the rig, and then I got bored of rigging, and I haven't finished it. But gosh darn diddly do, one day she bee is gonna come out into the world and she's gonna be beautiful. She's gonna do sweet little dances, and everyone's gonna think it's adorable. That's the plan, at least. I forgot to buy, sell. What, what did I do that whole turn? I feel like I did nothing that whole turn. Okay, well, oh, I was kind of hoping you would get that weakness. Can I have my flea back? Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Not that bad. Almost killed the crab, though. I mean, crabs are one of the biggest enemies of humanity, so they're the final evolution of all. Which means if we don't kill the ones we have now, we're going to be crazy overpopulated with crabs. Because in the future, everything's going to be crabs. Yes? Goodbye. One, I guess we'll have more sheep next turn. And I would sell this bulldog. I would sell it especially for a turtle. Yas. And you can actually have this more than you can have that. Okay. And just like that, I wasted a turn because I wasn't thinking about it. And then immediately following that, we have a turn that seems decent. Entirely because I have a turtle and a guy. You, this is with the lynxes, the lynxes, they're in every weekly and they're always good. So they're just always there. Hmm? That's the situation. This weekly is a pretty like mix up pack of things. Whoa, I have heard that Highland Cow is actually crazy. Which is super crazy because I have not been running him. What I have been running uh, continuously with medium amount of luck is the lion, which is kind of sad because all of the scalers are at the end of the game. So this weekly, if you buy a lion, what are you going to scale it with? Nothing, because you can't get the end game units. Definitely not the best use of money. Okay, so uh, problem. I have to sell somebody now. Can I get a pill? Can I get a pill real quick? I would love monkey. Yes chocolate oh there's too many darn good things i want to pill this turtle onto the buffalo so that i can open a spot for this sweet little monkey he would love to learn this loin he would love to join the squad you have a buffalo and a highland thing i have one your skunk is me up oh excuse me <laughs> i'm not supposed to say words like that why? I don't really know. I haven't read, like, the directions, but I think it's probably bad. Wow, I thought that parrot was gonna summon something. But it didn't. Insanity. Absolute bonkers. Okay, well... I'm gonna say goodbye to the sheep, even though we all are saying it, we're all thinking it. The swan is probably not as cool as the sheep, so, like, well, you, you know what? You're gonna be front. Additional issue. Ooh, Bicel is back in town. But do I want it? Yes, but do I need it? Possibly so. I would like you to be getting the monkey stuff and not you because you're dying next turn. So temporarily, Buffalo, you're getting one turn of statage from the monkey. Congratulations. I didn't fully utilize your buy selling thing. So I guess I, I kind of owed it to you. It is in fact raining melons. That team doesn't have hats. And the background is default. Do you think that they're a new player, or do we think that they're just acting basic because it makes them seem cool? 
when you're in that part of the game where like the number cool thing, like the golden poop or whatever, it's like everyone has the golden poop. So it's completely lost its meaning as being like, hey, look, I'm special and I actually play the game consistently. So now the people who are special are actually those who have nothing. Like an Overwatch, the people who are just running the basic Mercy skin. Because all the cool Mercy skins, you see them so often, you know, like it's like the pink Mercy skin, the witch one, so common. They're all over the place. So no one's running basic. So that's the only way to be cool anymore. A snake. Snake. Yes. I think I'm at the point in which I'm going to stop trying to boost the buffalo. And we're just going to go for good things instead. He's not super strong he's decent for where we are he's gonna fall off pretty quickly if we can switch the monkey out for a t-rex i would if only to keep the buffalo going but i just i don't want to get rid of my swan and i and i love the snake so much look at his little tongue coming out of his mouth his mouth doesn't even look like a mouth because it doesn't even have one it's just kind of coming out of his skin in general extremely creepy but look how darn cute he is He's got like a bowling ball for a head. He's got two soulless black eyes. And according to Super Auto Pest, that's like apparently the cutest way to go about things. You can have steak. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I would like to level my Highland Cow. Thank you. How did you know? Well, I would like that. However, how about tomorrow? T-Rex of Legends um, isn't going to work this turn. We'll save it for tomorrow. And the snake is the next one to level. I guess I could have saved that chocolate bar for the T-Rex, because double T-Rex could be cool. But I only have two hearts left. Which is not a ton. That's a lot of Highland cows, though. Not even equal to my amount of things. Hilarious. Two weak little baby Highland cows. I don't think these peanuts are going to get you anywhere. Ooh, very unlucky. You didn't even get to use them. Return to the peanut gallery, sir. You've run out. You run out of time? You run out of life? Yes. Goodbye. <gasps> no. The cool thing about this whole T-Rex situation too is that the goose is giving us enough money that we can still actually do things even if we're trying to do the T-Rex maneuver. Another melon is fine. I guess the snake can take it. I don't really know why the snake has a croissant. I feel like uh, in the end game is one additional attack per turn really doing anything? Probably not, but garlic felt kind of weird to put on him because he also has like no health ouch um hey i needed that snake to counter your rooster and now i'm going to die well yes yes i am would that snake have helped i don't think it would have killed anything unless i got lucky with it actually hitting their summons yes yes maybe i actually want one of you guys to have a steak but it's too late for that now chocolate is delicious I appreciate, uh, you're, you don't get to level anymore, you get to level, and this is nice. Okay, so what are we gonna go for? I guess it's gonna be a level 3 Highland Cow, and also a T-Rex. But I can get one of those today, but not both of them today. And not even today, actually. I'm not sure that I- well, I've got three extra gold from the- from the swan, so I guess I could afford to actually buy three things at once right now. Ooh. Fly. Turkey. This person thinks we're back in, like, 2021 with the OG synergies and the crap that nobody likes anymore because it's just so gosh darn used. So what are we doing? Stats or Highland Cow? Three trumpets per turn. I think... Okay, we've got one health. We have one life left. So the correct choice was to boost the Highland Cow, but I was so- look at that little pretty T-Rex and those nice little saucy stats. Our- our buffalo is almost at max and he hasn't even done anything in years. It'd be cool if buying chocolate helped him. That's a lot of stakes, um, by a lot I mean two. Did you switch my stats? No, you switched my order! Okay, our snake is not in the best place. It doesn't matter. Your team is hot garbalo. Honestly, I don't really think that the hyena is ever good. I see almost no instances in which it is good. <gasps> yes. But also, yes. That's my first time getting him to max. That's not surprising given that I've only been using him literally, I think maybe this weekly is the first time that I've been utilizing him. But at the same time, I've also seen him a few times, so it feels like I should have gotten him to level three at first. They've got the Pinocchio hats. No, my swan. <laughs> the Pinocchio hats can't save you now. Oh, okay. Uh, godsend that that rooster is only a level one. 
Rooster, I think, continues to be quite possibly like one of the best. We got a 10 win! Wow! <laughs> Rooster continues to be like what, like basically the best unit in the game, and nobody expects it. And by that, I mean literally everyone expects it and knows it, and everyone probably hates them, but also you can't say no to them, really. Man, the buffalo looks like really angry, doesn't he? Anyway. 10 win for the wins with only one hearth left to spare. First game didn't count. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.